thought the riot was the prison break, but it was just a smokescreen to give Abruzzi and Sucre time to drill that wall. I've still got a little time. Maybe I can use it to figure out who hired Turk to kill me. Paxton, shoot time's over. Abruzzi needs your ass in P.I. Now! Here you go, John. I can't say I admire your taste. Tranquilo, boss. Hey, Paisano. Hey, John. The knife I got you. How'd it work out? Good. But I lost it. How? Uh, I left it in some guy's stomach. That's why you're here. They cleaned out the joint and now I've got nothing. Not even a toothpick. I'd be a lot more comfortable if I had some, you know, leverage. The sharp and pointy kind? Bravo. Exactamente. I can swing that, but I need your men to find out about a guy named Turk. I need to know his story. His story is he's dead. Beaten to a pulp in the boiler room. I read that chapter. I want to know if someone was running him. Okay, I will look into it. But in the meantime, take this ball from the yard benches and see if you can turn it into something a little more useful. Get on it, now! You big ugly jackass. You think you're better than me? Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid. Damn yeah, machine, a bomb could go off and I wouldn't hear it. Wilson! Hey, shut it down! I can hear a goddamn thing! Got it. I'll be right over. All I'm saying is the drill press was made in some Asian hellhole where they ate fish eyes for breakfast. And the only metal they got is leftover from old rice buckets. Well, that grinder over there is good old U.S. of A. American steel. And it ain't never gonna wear out. You can't tell me one ain't better than the other. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, I gotta go see the Pope, boys. <laughs> Must be getting a raise. my flight. 
flashlight. is falling apart. I'll check it out. Any luck? When you're as good as me, you don't need luck. Cocky, eh? I like that. I'll get back to you when I got that information about Turk. Thanks. Hey, hey, where are you going? You're on PI now. I gotta make a phone call. Mannix, it's Paxton. What the? Tom, are you right? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Schofield staged a riot, but it was just a smokescreen. For what? Abruzzi and Sucre are digging a hole under A-Wing. Damn. That ain't all. Their escape route leads through the infirmary. Schofield's been corroding a pipe there so he can get in through a drain, but I can't get to it. Okay, let me think. There's nothing you can do about the hole under A-Wing. But if you can't fix the pipe, maybe you can get someone to do it for you. How? Forge a work order for the repair. Maintenance will get in there and fix it. Easier said than done. I'd have to get into the warden's office. So stop talking and start doing. Hey, dog me! Where's your PI uniform? To the locker room! On the double! Rap! I gotta run up to the warden's office. You take one step out of this room before I get back, and it'll be your ass. Mannix sounded strange on the phone, but his orders were pretty clear. I need to sneak into the warden's office and forge a work order.
don't freaking believe it. They had to put this place in mothballs. Hey, Roy, what's the score? We're down, 15. God damn it! I'm gonna lose my shirt. The warden will be with you in a moment, Captain. Okay, red and blue, I understand, but what's this green wire doing here? He's a good kid, Michael Schofield. I think so, too. Did you see what he did with the Taj? My wife will be over the moon. She's a lucky woman. Sir, Captain Bellick is waiting outside. Thanks, Becky. I'll talk with him in the hall. Uh, in the meantime, could you get me a cup of coffee? Certainly. Just leave it on my desk. It should only take a minute. A work order? Just sitting here? No wonder this place is falling apart. Uh, what a mess! I'll just put this in the closet. Becky, Captain Bellock's report's more complicated than I thought. Will you please come take notes for me? Uh, certainly, Warden.
go. No sugar, no cream. Thanks, man. Nice outfit. You buy it off the rack? Now get your ass back to P.I. Give this jerk off some work. He's been sitting around all day. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I would drop it. What do you mean? That guy, Turk, he's a ghost. There's nothing on him. It's like he's never existed. Three of my associates on the outside were clubbed like baby seals for just asking about him. So I don't want to push this any further. A deal's a deal. I got you the shank. Are you a man of your word or not? Madre di Dio. Okay. Look, listen. If you can get me the phone records for the past couple of weeks, maybe I can run through the numbers. See who he was calling. How do you know who's been using the phone? Hey, that's my business. I know everything that goes down in this yard. Okay, where can I find the records? They're on a computer in the storage facility. You can get in through the pump house, print out the records, and bring them back to me. Another break-in. But I gotta risk it if I want to find out who hired Turk to kill me and Burroughs. How'd you like to see us kick this guy's ass? It might bring a little sunshine into an otherwise dreary day.
What is it with you and Smith, man? Why don't you just ask the guy out and get it over with? Hey, Smith would kick your ass just for thinking that. He could do it, too. Shut up! How about you just do the work you paid for, Bataglia? Yes, sir. Swear to God, this place is like an electrical freak show. Bataglia, go check it out. Whatever you say. It's fine. Someone was just messing with the switches. Yeah, right. This is ghost. Damn computers are older than dirt, man. Anybody ever heard of a laser printer or what? Where do you want your stuff, man? In here, guys.
What you doing? Ah, smart ass cops. Those, the phone records? Good. I'll get back to you in a couple of hours. So far, so good. Schofield and Burroughs are still on the inside, and soon I'll know who hired Turk to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> 